Jason and this is Monty and today we're doing sermon number 41 and it's called Hope Remains. So uh, the definition of hope is the feeling that what is wanted can be had or that events will turn out for the best. That comes from dictionary.com. Now I'm going to tell one of the best examples of hope that we have in the Bible. It's the story of Job. <coughs> now he lived in the uh, land of Uz and that story should take place right after the events of Abraham or right before, I can't remember how that fits into the chronological Bible, but just uh, put that into account. So, uh, basically, he just he had sons and daughters. He was a really just awesome guy, near perfect, about as perfect as you could get in those days. And so, one day in heaven, Satan enters into the throne room of God, and he asks him if he can test Job to see if he is really serving God or serving the blessings that God gives him, as we talked about in Bible chat about two weeks ago. So, here's what happens. God allows Satan to do whatever he wants, but he cannot kill Job. And so, one day, Satan basically just lets this guy go through everything, and it's just about, it's crazy. He loses all of his daughters, he loses all of his livestock, and just a whole lot of, whole lot of crazy junk goes down for this guy. And after all that, then his friends come over, and they don't speak to him for seven days on the eighth day, they just rebuke this guy, telling him that he sinned. When Job was, he's just a, you know, he's just trying to do what he knows to be right in those days. But after all that, if you after you read all forty one chapters of Job, in the very last part of the book, he still has hope, which is most important thing. That after everything, after he was tested, after he lost everything, he still had hope. And because of his hope, he eventually did get back everything he had lost and even more. And was added onto his life. So, um, you have anything to say on that? Uh, yes. Um, see, as he was saying, Job had lost everything, and because he kept hope, he was had everything restored to him uh, tenfold, as they say. Hmm. And uh, really, the reason he kept hope was because he knew a promise, and this promise was. From God Himself. So, truly, the only reason we've ever had hope is because of God and His promise. That's good. Very poetic. I try my best. So, um, I just, of course, I wanted to say that uh, just about anything that happens in your life, you can sort of lose hope and you can be very discouraged. And uh, I know that happens a lot in these um, in these days where just about everything that can go wrong has went wrong, and it will go wrong. And so it's just important to remember, and it's also important to place your hope in something that will never go away, and uh, that's Jesus Christ. Uh, no matter what happens, He will always be on the throne, and He will always be there, and you can always place your hope in Him. And once you place your hope in Him, your hope will never be dashed. I promise you that. So I think that's everything, not unless anything has come up in, in the last uh, four minutes. Uh, no. Has it been four minutes? No. Really? 20. That's pretty good. So, um, hope remains. Uh, yeah, the remainings of hope. So, interesting little tidbit right before we end. We got the, I got this sermon a year and a half back. The reason it got pushed back is because we had so many awesome sermons. So, we got this sermon uh, right before we preached sermon number 11, and it was called A Voice in the Storm. And uh, I actually mentioned it in that video, but we never got around to it. So, um... I think it was just really cool that um, almost a year and a half later we ended up preaching it, and I think it turned out a lot better than it would if we would have preached it a year and a half back. So God's timing and all that is really awesome. So uh, that's just we about had, everything, and um, we had hope. Yeah, that's everything. So of course we do have, um, I believe, if we're still, yeah, Jan and talk will be this week, and uh, yeah, we'll try to stick to the uh, schedule the best we can. Uh, I know we have team talk at the end of this month, so be looking forward to that. We'll see. We just have a whole lot of great ideas for videos, and I know for a fact that we want to do a New Year's Eve countdown. We just don't know if we'll be in an IHOP again. So, <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> so um, we don't know what happened there, but we'll see if we can get it done for you guys because we really did enjoy that last year. Maybe Sadie and Danielle can be on camera this year. So with all that said and done, my name is Jason, of course, and this is... Monty. Signing.